Hello everyone, this is Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. For this episode, I want to go back to Hype by Tumult. I just received a message recently from someone on YouTube who wanted to know how to add an online form to his Hype document. I'm going to show you a very easy way to do this. Rather than spending a whole lot of time figuring out how to write code that you can add into the HTML portion of your site, you can use the HTML widget to just embed code from another service. And that one service that I want to recommend is Wufoo. Wufoo allows you to set up a free account. You have up to three forms with a free account, but with that free account, albeit the limited number of forms, you can still have the option to embed it in your website. So at least this way with Wufu, you can get started with forms. And if you really like the service that Wufu offers, then obviously you can consider one of the monthly plans. But if you're just concerned about just getting one form up, this is a great place to start. So after you've opened up your account, you're going to come to a page that looks something like this. And it's going to say, Holy Tabula Rasa. You don't have any forms. Let's go make one. And that's exactly what we're going to do. You're going to click on new form in the top right here. And it's going to take you to this menu. And you'll see on the left hand side you have three tabs. Add a field, field settings, form settings. Let's first go to form settings real quick. And this is where you can go in and actually change the, the content of your form. So right now it's titled untitled form. And I'm just going to go ahead here on the left hand side here and just change the form name to contact form. And then I'm going to go down below where it says description. I'm just going to add a description. Please leave feedback about this site. That goes right underneath. Okay, that's pretty good for now. Uh, that's all I need. I, I want to show text. I don't want to redirect to another website. So this is, everything's fine here. Uh, the language is fine. Top of line, fine. Now I'm going to go back to the left and, and add some fields. And for now, I, I just want something straightforward. I want to just get someone's name. So you just drag that over to the right-hand side. And as you can see, that field is automatically added on their contact form. And maybe an email address. So I want to get an email address. And you have a lot of other options too. You can really you can get prices in case you want to start selling things. You can have, request a phone number. You can even add a file upload button if you wanted people to upload files. Now, of course, if you want to do that, as you can see here, you're going to need something more than a free account because obviously... You're paying for a lot more when you're uploading files that way. I don't really need much. This is really, this is basically all I need. Except one more thing. I'm going to add paragraph text. And I'm going to drag that down beneath the email section. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you see that brings up more field, your field settings basically. And right now it's untitled. And I just want to call that um, comments. Because I want people to leave comments when they come to the site. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't need anything else. I want to add this to my site. So I'm going to click Save Form. And I'm done. So I'm just going to click I'm finished. Take me back to Form Manager. That's fine. And so now I have one form in my library. I have a free account. I can set up three, but I only need one for this demo. And I now want to add this form to my hype document. You'll see an option here that says code. You're going to click on code. And here you have various different short links and URLs that you can add. But you also have this option on the top left called embed form code. You can add this inside your document as opposed to say the line underneath which says full page form code. So this is a separate page in and of itself. That's different than embedding inside a specific section of a page. So we want the embed code. And you have 
a couple options if you're using WordPress you can use that the two options of course that we would use would either be the JavaScript version or the iframe version and JavaScript is recommended so that's what we're going to use for this demo I'm going to go ahead and select all copy that text and now we're going to go ahead and bring up a hype document and so with the hype document open you're going to go to insert and then add HTML widget with that widget added to your document you're then going to click on the pencil icon below it after selecting it and it's going to bring up a window and that's where you're going to paste your code so let me go ahead and bring back that browser window and I'm going to go ahead and copy the JavaScript version into my hype document And what do you know? I have a form automatically. It's really that simple. Now you may notice too on this form that the type is kind of small and you may want it to be a little bigger. You actually can make those adjustments in Wufu. So for example, let's go ahead and open Wufu back up. And I'm going to go ahead and click out of here and go back to my forms. I'm now going to go to themes. So you're going to click on themes in the top here and that's going to take you to another page. And with the themes you're going to have a lot of options. You can add a logo with adjustments, you can adjust the background, typography, border, shadows, and so forth. I just want to adjust the typography because I'm only concerned about the font here. So I'm going to choose typography. I'm going to start with title and I'm going to basically scroll down and increase the font to 18. Likewise, the description 18. Section title 18 and just go on down the line. Section text 18. Field title. 18 okay that's good enough I'm go ahead and I'm gonna save that theme now <clears throat> it's gonna ask me to give it a name so I'm just gonna call it hype submit and now I have a theme that's available for me to use okay let's go back to forms again and you'll see that right on the right hand side of my contact form I now have the default theme selected if I choose the drop down arrow you'll see I have hype as an option and so I've just added the settings from my hype theme to my contact form so now if I go and grab the code one more time go to embed form code and copy the JavaScript code go back to my hype document select the pencil tool delete that code and then paste the new code in and voila you see that now I have larger font that's easier to read so it's that simple adding a contact form to your hype document using Wufu as an embed option and now that you have your form set up when visitors come to your site, they can fill out the form and the information will go to Wufu's servers and then you will retrieve the information through Wufu. But it's a nice option to have. It's free, at least for the first three forms. If you really like Wufu, you may want to consider signing up for one of their monthly accounts. But this is a basic, easy way to add a contact form to your hype document. This is Tim Brown, my Apple Podcast. Check me out next time.